We have some exciting news that is hot off the press. For the first time ever, Open Router is giving us a stealth model, which they're calling Quasar Alpha. It's the pre-release of an upcoming long context foundation model. And what it means by foundation model is this is one of the next big guys. It could be GPT-5, Claude 4, Gemini 3. We don't know at this point because they're not saying which model lab they are partnering with, but they are partnering with one to give us early access to this model, which has 1 million tokens for its context length, which is very impressive. And it's specifically optimized for coding, which is really important because in general, coding seems to be the most important use case for AI and AI agents in general. And it is fit for general purpose as well. And the best part is it's available for free to use through the Open Router API right now. So here is the page for Quasar Alpha on openrouter.ai. I'll have a link to this in the description of this video. You can use their chat room to have a conversation with Quasar Alpha like you would with an interface like chatgbt.com. Otherwise, you can interact with Quasar Alpha through the API. If you want to use this LLM in your AI agents in something like your Python codes, so you just go to openrouter.ai, sign in, go to your keys, and then create an API key, and you can start using this model for free. So what I want to do with you right now is figure out how good is this model. I want to test it on a few things for building AI agents. I want to test it as an AI agent. And then I also want to go in bolt.diy and create an application with it and just see how fast and powerful it is. So first, we have preliminary benchmarks already for Quasar Alpha, even though it was just released today. So take these with a big grain of salt because the model is brand new. We don't even know what the provider is yet. And there could be a lot that changes between the pre-release and release of this model. But it's still fascinating for me to do some initial testing and just speculate things. And I encourage you to do the same. Like, let me know in the comments which provider you think this is. Maybe it's OpenAI, maybe it's Claude. And I'm curious your experience using it to test things like writing code and AI agents as well. But as it stands right now, for the general tests, Quasar Alpha is pretty close to QWQ, O3 Mini, and DeepSeek R1. It falls short a little bit, but it still does rank slightly higher than Claude 3.7 Sonnet, so it's pretty impressive. But then when we go down to the coding-specific tests with Python and Bash, this is when it really starts to shine. Take a look at this. It beats QWQ 32B. And it's almost as good as O3 Mini and DeepSeek R1, which is really impressive, especially because as you'll see later in this video, this model is very fast compared to both of these more sluggish LLMs. They're much bigger. It seems like Quasar Alpha is a smaller LLM, like maybe even closer to the size of QWQ. I don't know at this point, it's all speculation just based on the speed of responses that I'm getting. But again, it's really fun just to speculate, test out this model, see what we're getting ourselves into. And who knows, maybe in the next couple of weeks, the full release of this model will be available to us. And then in the open router chat room, I just wanted to play around with this model a little bit and see how fast it is. And so I'm just gonna select one of these pre-configured options for me for it to build a professional growth plan. So I'll just click on this. We can see how fast Quasar Alpha is. And boom, look at this. This is lightning fast. Definitely much faster than DeepSeek R1 and O3 Mini. Doesn't seem like it's a reasoning LLM, which I didn't really expect it to be, but it is really, really snappy. And so speed, definitely a huge edge for this one compared to a lot of other LLMs. Now, one really big bummer is that because it's a 1 million token context length LLM, I wanted to test it with a very, very long prompt. So what I did, I'll actually show you, I took the full LLMs.txt for LangGraph. So it's all the documentation for this framework, which is super, super long. You can see my scroll bar in the top right here, it's massive. And I went in back into the chat room and I pasted this in, and then I tried to ask it to, um, based on this documentation, create an AI agent send in this request, and what it seems to do every single time is this should definitely fit within the 1 million token context length. I mean, this is definitely not a million tokens, but I get an error every single time I have a longer prompt. So I think there might be something that's not fully working with this LLM. Yeah, because I get this 400 error right here whenever I try to do a longer prompt. So it's kind of a bummer that I can't test like the needle in the haystack problem, seeing how well it can pick out little bits of information from a massive prompt. So that's a bit of a bummer. Can't really test that, but we can still move on to other things and see how powerful it is as an AI agent. 
a AI agent builder, and within Bolt.diy to create front ends. Next up, I wanna do some coding with Quasar Alpha. We're gonna have it build an AI agent using Archon, which is my free and open source AI agent builder that I've been working really hard on the last couple of months. And so I actually covered this in my last video on my channel. I used Claude 3.7 Sonnet within Archon to build an AI agent army, a bunch of agents that are all connected to MCP servers to do different things in my services like Airtable, Brave, Firecrawl, it's like the ultimate personal assistant. And so within my environment tab, I already have Archon set up where you can connect it to any model you want in Open Router. So I just changed the configuration uh, for the Open Router connection to use Quasar Alpha instead of Claude 3.7 Sonnet for both my primary coding and reasoning models. And by the way, I'll have Archon linked in the description of this video if you want to use it yourself to build some really powerful AI agents with Quasar Alpha or any other model that you want. And so back in the chat here to create an agent with Archon, I'll paste in the prompt that I used in my last video to build this agent army with Claude 3.7 on it. So I'll send it in. And one thing that I noticed immediately when I was running this test a couple of times before recording this video is that it is blazing fast compared to Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And that's kind of the theme of this video is Quasar Alpha is pretty powerful. It seems about on par with Claude 3.7 Sonnet. But just looking at the terminal here, how fast it's getting through this, these requests, it's at least four times faster than Claude 3.7 Sonnet, which is super impressive and also probably means that it's gonna be a lot more affordable as well because generally the faster LLMs end up being a lot cheaper, like GPT-4 Mini compared to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, for example. And so it's chugging along here. It's creating that final code for my agent, which is gonna be pretty long because Archon builds a lot for us. And so in just a second, we'll have everything pop up on the screen. And usually this would take at least a couple of minutes with Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So I'd have to pause and come back. But in this case, I didn't pause the video at all. I recorded the entire time. It took about maybe 30 seconds to a minute to, to make this whole thing instead of multiple minutes. And yeah, look at this. This is really, really solid code. I'm gonna just scroll through this really quickly here to make sure that it's set up everything right. This looks about as good as what was created by Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So it didn't quite get all of the MCP server configuration right, but neither did Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So it wasn't a one shot for either LLM. So they seem about equal overall, but this is really good looking code. So I'm just gonna iterate on this a little bit off camera, just like I did with Claude 3.7 Sonnet in my last video. And then we can actually use this agent with Quasar Alpha as the LLM. So we can not only test Quasar Alpha as the agent builder, which it did a pretty good job here, but we can also use it as the agent itself. All right, it took two more tries to get the code in a working state, which is exactly what it took with Claude 3.7 Sonnet as well. So I have it now in my file system up and running, and I have it connected to my custom front end. And since it is an MCP agent army, what we can do is ask it to work with a couple of our different services like Brave, Airtable for our data storage, and Slack for our communication. And so the first prompt that I'm gonna give it is to search the web for the newest and best LLMs in 2025. And so that will require it to go out and use the Brave API to get that information. And then I wanted to take the top five from the web search and add it to this specific table in Airtable, and then finally send the results in a Slack message. And so it's not the simplest of requests here. I'm requiring it to use quite a few different tools to accomplish all the tasks that I lay out for it in this single request. And so let's go ahead and send this in. I have Quasar Alpha running for every single one of the agents here. And so I have my terminal open just like I did with Archon. The first step, it did it correctly. It's calling the Brave agent to query the best LLMs in 2025. And then it calls the Airtable agent to add this list into my table that I have open up right here. And so in just a little bit, we'll see it populate as the Airtable agent adds these records and boom, like clockwork, there we go. We got the five records and now it's calling the Slack agent to send a message summarizing the results. And this is also very, very fast compared to anything I've seen with this MCP agent army. Before, I was using GPT-40 Mini for my model for this agent. And Quasar Alpha 
is actually faster than even GPT-40 Mini, which is generally known to be one of the fastest closed source LLMs that's available to us right now. Probably only beat out by Gemini Flash or maybe the models that you have through Grok or one of those providers that are super fast. But yeah, this is insanely impressive and it did everything perfectly. It searched the web, it populated the right table, and it sent the message with the results from the search. So this is working absolutely perfectly. Quasar Alpha is definitely impressing me both as an agent builder and as the LLM running the agent itself. Now, the last thing that I wanna do is test out Quasar Alpha with Bolt.DIY. It's our open source AI coding assistant that allows us to build a beautiful front ends. It's similar to Bolt.New and Lovable, except we have access to pretty much any large language model that we want, including any that are available through Open Router. So without me even having to update Bolt.DIY, we instantly have access to Quasar Alpha for free to build out our front ends. And so for a nice and simple test that's still not super trivial, I want to have it replicate an image of a landing page that I'm giving it. And so this is my own landing page actually for Dynamis AI Mastery. It's an exclusive community that I just opened up the waitlist for. So if you want to transform your career and business with AI, definitely check out dynamis.ai and join the waitlist. There are limited spots available, so get in on it now because the early adopter price is gonna go away pretty soon after the community launches. And so anyway, that's Dynamis AI. I have a screenshot of the landing page that I sent into Bolt DIY, and I'm just telling it to make a landing page that looks exactly like the image that I attached. And surprisingly, a lot of LLMs do pretty poorly with this. I mean, the best of the best, like Claude 3.7 Sonnet and O3 Mini, for example, they do pretty good. But there's a lot that goes into copying something that looks exactly like this landing page. And I don't expect it to get it perfectly, but we'll see if it can lay out the general structure, get some of that core text in there. I'm gonna give it a little bit and see if it can finish. And so, yeah, it looks like it created the page already. So again, like usual, Quasar Alpha is blowing my mind with its speed. It didn't actually install the dependencies and run the project though. So it messed up a little bit here. I'll just say, install the dependencies and run the project. So it has to run those NPM commands to kick everything off for us so we can actually see the preview of our landing page. So I'll give it a second to do that. And boom, there we go. This is looking really, really good. It's not centered here, so it's not perfect, but man, this looks pretty close to the landing page. And I can full screen it as well so you can see that, yeah, the video goes on the right-hand side. And there's obviously not a real video for it to put here, which is why we get this error. Otherwise, though, it looks really, really good. And yeah, I mean, this, this pretty much duplicated the UI exactly. I'm super impressed. And we can just test another one really quick here. I'll just do something for fun. I've got another quick prompt here to build me a beautiful chat application to chat with an AI agent just with a placeholder message response right now. But yeah, I want a full chat, conversation history, a sleek and modern dark theme design. So let's see what it can spin up for us here. And so it's gonna start with the template here for a modern React AI app. It's going to create app.tsx. And wow, yep, already done, all right. So now it's installing a dependency, so we don't have to ask it explicitly this time to do it. And it started it up, and wow, that was like 10 seconds. And we have this conversation now. So I can say hi, and we get a sample response back. It's got a really beautiful front end with a gradient for a background. Like, wow, this is, this is amazing. We created this in 10 seconds with Quasar AI. So I'm just really impressed overall. So that is everything that I have for Quasar Alpha right now. Seems like a very powerful LLM overall and the speed is the most impressive part. And if it sounds like I'm overhyping Quasar Alpha in any way, I don't mean to. I'm just very passionate about AI, so I'm really excited about everything that I am talking about. But I do think that it is a very powerful LLM. It's maybe not going to revolutionize AI once it is released, but definitely for use cases that need a good amount of power and a lot of speed, it could be a game changer because generally you have to sacrifice speed a lot when you want a lot of power with current LLMs like R1 and O3. But that might change with Quasar Alpha. I definitely foresee that. That's kind of my hot take big prediction out of this. And I'm curious what you think as well. I mean, speculation right now is just really fun, especially for the first ever cloaked model that we have on OpenRouter. 
So what do you think the provider is for this? Is it OpenAI? Is it Claude? What kind of pricing do you think we're gonna get for this? When do you think it's gonna be released? I'm super curious, so let me know in the comments what you think and also your experience using this LLM as well. So if you appreciated this content and you're looking forward to more things AI and AI agents, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And with that, I will see you in the next video.